I'm gonna make a lot of mistakes here. This is me being vulnerable and showing you my process learning how to do this. This isn't gonna be perfect. It's gonna look bad, but I'm doing the best I can. I'm gonna be using self-etching primer because there's a few spots where the aluminum came through. So we're just gonna cover those up with self-etching primer. What I read with a lot of spray paint is, the problem with spray paint is most of your paint is wasted. It doesn't stick to the material, it just kind of blows around. So that's why paint booths and controlled painting environments are great. But this is my paint booth. This whole frame is already primered and painted, so I don't need to do a ton of this. I'm just making sure I get everywhere that there's metal or it got really thin. All right, that's had plenty of time to dry. Now I'm gonna hit it with gloss white. I like Rust-Oleum a little more than Krylon. I feel like it comes out a little bit thicker and for my style that works a little better. But I'm gonna put some bright colors on this and I want it to pop. So I'm gonna put white down first so that the next color I lay down is bright underneath and that will make it a brighter color. Man, amazing how different this frame looks with white on it. That's cool white. But that's gonna give it a good base to really pop when I put my next colors on. I already have little bugs flying to this and sticking onto it. That is sucky about painting outside. But that's a good little base coat to put some bright colors on top of. This is all experiment, we'll see what happens. In here you can see my drips a little bit. Not perfect in there and in there. Oh well, go away bugs. All right, it's been a few days and I've let this paint dry. I've got a new stand. This is an inch and a half pipe I've zip tied to the trampoline. Got a little cap on it and it fits perfectly in the head tube. Just can't put much pressure on it. I don't want to ovalize that head tube. This has some minor imperfections. <laughs> the sprinkler's gone on it. There's a little bit of hard water on it. I need to wipe off. There's drips. There's fruit flies stuck to it. This is not a perfect paint job. This is a 10 foot, maybe 20 foot paint job. And this is not a how to, this is a how I. This is my experience. I'm not uh, expert at this by any means. I'm not a professional painter, but I wanted to share my experience and give people courage to mess up their own bikes like I have. All right, now we're gonna wet sand this with 1500 grit and just take out some of the imperfections and get it ready for its shot of color. Let's talk a little bit about wet sanding. Wet sanding puts less friction between the sandpaper and your project, and so it's a little bit softer on it. At least that's what I've been told. So in hindsight, flat white would have been nice. I think paint sticks a little bit better to flat colors than to gloss colors. This is fun. It's been a really fun project. It's taken a lot of patience because every night I want to go out and spray it and hit it with the next color, but I need to wait for it to dry. So I'm really not taking much off. I'm just kind of smoothing everything down, getting any drips out. And this 1500 seems to be doing it okay. Okay, I've gone over it all with wet sandpaper. Now I'm taking my Scotch-Brite very lightly, just trying to scuff this up enough that the next layer will stick to it well, because that's the color layer. And the whole reason we went with the white is so the next color would pop underneath it. And I'm really glad I did because I've been doing some tests with and without white underneath it. And it's so much better with white underneath. This is such a cool frame. It's fun. If you want to bond with your bike and see it up close, paint it because 
you get in there and you're taking a closer look at it than you ever have. It's pretty cool. Okay, next step is to wash this with soap and water, get all of that residue off that's on my fingers, all that white dust that's all over this now because I just sanded it down. We got some soapy water here. Just gonna wash everything, get any dirt, dust, anything off. This is my last chance before my pretty coats go on. All right, now we're gonna rinse this. Do not want any soap left on this, obviously or water. I'd like to apologize in advance to any of you who are painters and know that I'm doing everything wrong. It must be cringeworthy to watch. We're in Arizona and it's summertime and things dry fast here. For better or for worse. I'm excited. Almost time to put some color on this thing. All right, now I'm gonna leave it out here for 20 minutes to let that all dry and evaporate in case I miss the spot. I don't want drips or water spots on this. 